Looks like the overnight rally was a major head fake. Lots in the a lot of those in the financial media assumed that it was just a one day, uh, much needed pullback. I'm not so convinced. It's been uh, way overbought, and I don't think one day is enough. And we see that here with the market selling off. Adaptive moving average was long, was stopped out. We don't see that uh, much. Where adaptive moving average gets stopped out on a 40 point stop loss. That was a very quick, very loose market. Really gave back 80 points back, did not hold 3,000. Working towards yesterday's low. You see yesterday's adaptive moving average captured over 100 points. Lost 40 points on the first trade and is reversed to the short side. And so gain all that back around break even right now for adaptive moving average. So uh, fast, it's a fast uh, strategy for a fast market. Cover three lost at the open. Got taken in the head fake. Market internals were strong. Trend was strong. Minus 625. Uh, you know, yesterday it was up over 4,000 though. So nice, nice trade on Cobra 3 yesterday and a loss today. Yesterday's trade put Cobra 3 at a new equity peak. So you see that green dot coming back, new equity peak for Cobra 3. Other trades on the day, um, we have stock index swing stopped out. Got in on this like it's a, uh, a strong uptrend last Friday. Uh, it took this strong uptrend and, and worked with the gap up. Today, uh, the gap up did just completely reversed. And so, um, weak, weak market. As we come into Friday, it's interesting, based on what the Fed said and how the how the tone has changed and how the market was run up. A lot of the, the news here is that the uh, new traders, uh, millennials, I guess, trading on Robinhood, have a dot-com effect and have really run the market up. We will see, uh, you know, if that was really the case. Over time, you never know uh, in a situation like that if that was actually the case. But it appears to be uh, extremely overbought. And these pullbacks, I anticipate more on the downside. Uh, AT 2019 minus 1925. AT 2020 minus 725. Uh, tick count trend long minus 625. Giving back some of the gains from yesterday. And... All strategy access three, Asia Gold four plus 1500, Asia Gold four short minus 525, soybeans exit with a slightly profitable trade on the open plus 8750, Cobra Euro minus 625, all strategy access four, Asia Gold four uh, plus 1475, good evening in gold with the two longs. If you're trading all strategy access, you're trading both of these. They were up 3,000, and then you had the loss on the short side for minus 500. So up 2,500 in gold. Nice trades there. All strategy access five. No trades. All strategy access six. ES after hours came back last night. Gave a lot back in that last hour, like it did the other night. But plus 762.50, um, and then 60 minute breakout short had three winners in a row at the close yesterday. Uh, believe it or not, those are 20 point profit targets. They look really small on such a big down day. And then again today, another 20-point profit target, plus 975 there. Gap fill in reverse. This hadn't traded in a while in crude oil, minus 525 on that. So those are the trades so far on the day. It's early on Friday. I will keep you updated uh, probably next week. Have a good weekend.